So in this video, I want to show how easy it is to download the conference app. So I'm using an Android phone as an example. So all I'm going to do is go on my Play Store. It'll take uh, the conference app is called Conference uh, for Me. And you'll see this icon come up. I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit. And what this is going to allow us to do is download the conference schedule or the conference program that keeps the schedule for our conference. So you're going to be able to download. Uh, I'll just click on this install. It'll take a little bit. Your guys' internet is probably faster than mine. But in any case, I wanted to show from beginning to end. So once I've downloaded it, all I have to do is click open. It'll open it for me. And what I'm going to do at that point is you look for the ICABR um, logo, which should be very obvious. We're off here to the left, so I'm going to click on that, and it'll take me to the conference app. Um, this is a, obviously an information disclaimer. Uh, we don't collect information for any other purpose than to use in the app, so hopefully that's clear and you don't have to worry about that. But so I'm going to click OK, and this is really, really cool. So what happens here is that um, every single uh, session of the conference app is here. So if I want to look at Thursday, for example, I just have to swipe to the to the right I do that again I'm sorry swipe to the left uh, and then I can go back and in this case I am swiping to the right and you'll see that every single session is here but you'll notice that this is in uh, European time so this is the time in Ravello Italy where the conference is going to take place so a cool feature uh, in case I want to look at the conference agenda in my own time zone all I have to do is click on this uh, or slide to the right here and then this will put things into my time zone. So I am in uh, North America and uh, the Eastern Coast. So you will see that the time zones now appear in my time. And uh, it's a bit early, but uh, the conference is worth it. So I'm going to be interested in that. So um, really, really cool stuff that I can, for example, if I want to uh, add to my agenda this session, for example, um, I'll be able to uh, once... Uh, the conference goes live. I'll be able to click on this and click play and I'll be able to see the transmission on my phone on my phone if I so choose to do so um, But I can also add this to my agenda So this uh, I'll click on this and it'll be on my agenda It'll prompt me would you like to add this to your calendar and you can do that uh, I'm not going to do so because it'll knock me out of the of the thing of, of the session But uh, you can do that. So that's a feature here Another cool thing about this is the chat function. So I'm going to use a uh, test account to test the feature, but you'll be able to, while the conference is taking place and, and this session, session is taking place and people watching, will be able to, to chat in real time from their phones. So you are very much encouraged to do so. As you can see, some people have already uh, done the test. So that's just to make sure that it works. And um, so there's like two more things I want to show here quickly is that you can uh, look up um, either sessions or an author's name and you will be able to find that person uh, or a topic just like you can do it on Comp Tool. You can click here on the left and that'll prompt some options for you. Um, so uh, for those of us that are going to the um, participate uh, in person, you'll be able to click on the hotel. And you'll be able to see that it's the Hotel Bonadies. Apologies for the screen, it's a bit uh, broken, but you can click on that and it will give you uh, a little bit more information. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to Hotel Bonadies and it'll give you all the information that you need about that. I'll come back to this and uh, come back to the app and I'll go back in the app. Um, I have more information here, my inbox. Um, during the sessions, I can take notes in case anything comes up to me that is interesting. I can write it down in my conference app. Um, something else that I can do is look up people. So say, for example, I'm interested in uh, what uh, a certain author um, is talking about or uh, something like that. Uh, we can just click on them and I can see where this author, for example, is participating or where this author is going to be at uh, if I'm interested in a future presentation of theirs. Um, another thing is that uh, we constantly update the app for little minor things so you can always click uh, that. 
you can edit some settings, uh, you can rate the app, you can get more information about this. And uh, definitely do explore the app. There is um, many, many uh, features here. Just like any other app, uh, this is just meant as an introduction, but you can definitely check out all the features by just going on there and clicking on the app. And every single session um, will have a link in the comp tool um, schedule. And here, once things go live, you will be able to see things from your phone if you so choose, so choose to. But uh, um, you um, are encouraged to do so uh, online or through the phone or as you may choose to do so. And as always, if you have questions, just feel free to reach out to us and we will help you to the best of our ability. Anyway, uh, we will uh, hope to see you in the conference and uh, see you in the next video.